guys, welcome back. My name is Samphoria and we are once again playing Mage Quest. So, firstly, look at the castle. Isn't it amazing? I'm so, 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 so happy. Um, obviously, it's not finished. We don't have a roof. We don't have rooms. But we do have our kind of three little tower thing going on at the moment. Um, if we look at the back door. Uh, my mouse is still being silly, so I apologise. I've lit up all around there. And I left my bed at the at the other house, actually. So let's quickly go... Oh, the rich house. Hello, guys. I haven't seen you for ages. And we can take some of this stuff back over to the, uh, to the castle. Now it's secure. Awesome, awesome. Let's take some of this. La, 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 la. Uh, let's hmm. gold coins. Let's take this. We'll take the chest because we're gonna need that to put this stuff in. Um, oh, right, get rid of the feathers. There we go. Okay. So where the house? Awesome. Um, this is not where they're gonna be stored or anything. This is just um. Oops, this is just where they are for now. So, uh, I hope you're all having a great week. It is very, very nearly Christmas. I'm sorry it's taken a while for this, for a new episode of Mage Quest and Baycraft, actually, to get out. Um, it's just because I've had to do a lot off camera, like all this building and stuff takes a very, very long time. And it's just so boring. I don't want to show you guys. So, that's that. Um, oh, let me quickly show you at the front now we have... Yeah, I've got my sword. So I put some of these trees up. So we've got some dark oak and some normal oak. Just because um, probably going to use the wood anyway. Uh, I had some saplings from when I'd collected some. And to make it look a bit cuter. Look how cute it looks. So the front of the castle is going to look better than this. This is obviously just plain and boring for now. But we've got some a little pathway up in. And then if we go this way. This is actually like a mine thing that was through here. And I was like, oh, a little mine. This looks fancy, uh, but it's not a mine. It just goes straight through. So what I thought we could do is use it as like an underground passageway or something like that. Um, maybe put we could have like some water coming down and you have to walk through the water into like the secret area. That might be pretty cool. So for now I've just covered, it's just the stone under this. I just covered it with some slabs so that we kind of knew... Just to make it, not new, but just to make it um, like flow that way, the paths flow that way, and it's it's part of the building. It's not just a random hole. Um, and that is pretty much all I've done, to be honest. And obviously finished the walls of the castle and lit up all around everywhere. So, I've been reading your comments, and thank you everybody for commenting. Um, I've been reading all your comments on what um, you guys think we should be doing and as I said in the last episode Britannia has come up again and again so we're definitely going to be doing Britannia um, again in case you guys haven't seen my other videos which I recommend you go and watch just to so you know where you are and you're on the same page as all of us um, as I said in the other videos we are going to be looking into the four magic kind of like mods that are in this so we've got witchery, thongcraft, Britannia and blood magic but as far as the questing part of Mage Quest goes, we can only pick two to actually get quests on. So even though we're going to have, you know, we're going to have all the altars for all of them and everything, we are only going to be having quests on two. So we're definitely going to do Britannia um, because that's what people were, they said that they wanted that one. So initiation. So we're definitely doing Britannia. So for this, we need... Um... It doesn't say how many we need, but we just need... Oh, we need one. Okay, so we need a white, an orange, a yellow, and a blue. A light blue petal. So we're definitely going to go get them. And then we need to pick one of these. Now, I was really torn between doing witchery, because that is what we were doing in our original witchcraft adventures, or doing blood magic. Because um, that just seems really, really cool. Hmm... And I'm pretty sure, I can't remember where, but I'm pretty sure when I read the comments, no one suggested to do witchery. So I don't want to do something that nobody wants to do. So I am tempted to do blood magic. Thumbcraft. Mm. 
Let's collect the stuff for Britannia first while I have a think. So the reason... Hey, we've got light blue. Awesome. So the reason that I was thinking maybe Thomcraft over um, Blood Magic is just because I am doing Blood Magic at the moment on um, Baycraft and Coco Bandit or Create Memories. Oh, there's another hole down there. Is actually doing it, not with me, but um, he's helping me and he's been teaching me. Um, there we go. He's been teaching me the bits that he's learned and we did an episode on it together where we kind of looked at, um, well, he was showing me basically what he'd learned, which was really cool. Um, so I kind of feel like that's where I'm going to be focusing on blood magic. Um, so I'm thinking possibly Thorncraft. I know we did it in Witchcraft Adventures. And what I will do is... Um, what other colours did we need? Orange and yellow. Okay. So what I will do... Um, is that on fire over there? Or is that just orange flowers? Let's go this way and see. Oh, there's the yellow flower. So if we do... Um, if we do, uh, what am I thinking? I'm trying to. I'm trying. I'm looking at that sheep at the same time. <laughs> I completely forgot what I was going to say. Uh, yeah, if we do thumbcraft, sorry, if we do thumbcraft, which is kind of what I'm leaning to right now, we will do that. But we will. Um, oops, wrong ones. There we go. I'll kind of do like the beginning bit off camera, if that makes sense. So. Um, not do all the, uh, you know, all the scanning and everything. I'll do a little bit of it just to show you guys how to do it. Oh, look at the castle. It looks amazing. Um, I'll do a little bit of it on camera just to show you guys, but I'm not going to do loads of it because it's, it's just, it's just scanning stuff. It's quite, it's not tedious. It needs to be done. Um, but it does take a while to get it all scanned and stuff. So I'll just do that by myself. Um, but like I say, even though we're not doing quests on the other ones, we are still going to be doing them. And I will be going into them to let you, you know, to show you guys what I've learned and how to do them and stuff. So do not worry. I think... I'm still torn. Hmm. Right. I'm going to speak to my boyfriend and I'm going to let him pick. So we will be right back. Okay, so I spoke to my boyfriend and... He said blood magic, so we are going to do blood magic. So what do I need for this? Oh, <laughs> we need a piece of five pieces of glass, a piece of iron, and a piece of gold. Let's see what we need for thumbcraft: an air shard and a fire shard. We've got air shards. This may be just at whatever we get first. Yeah, we've got air shards. Okay, so it looks like we are going mining. So what we're going to do is we are going to go mining and whatever we come across first, be that, oh, let's get, oops, let's go and get some sand and get that smelting. So we've got some glass and then we're going to go mining and um, whatever we come across first, whether it's iron and gold or whether it's um, a fire shard, that is what we're going to do. I think that sounds about, that sounds fair, right? Yeah, yeah, fair, yeah, yeah. So let's get that going and let's go mining. Okay, so we're just at the little mine near the house. Um, and I just thought we'd collect some coal while we were here because we always need this stuff. Put some of these everywhere. Oh, I don't know how far this goes. Oh, no, no, this is promising. This is better. Oh, no, no. I can hear a bat. Let me up, let me up. Thank you all. I just want to stop this water because that's going to be super annoying. Cool. So let's carry on down. Okay, I can hear a zombie. Um, and I see iron already. That's cool. Hi, Mr. Zombie. I see you. Well, you look terrifying. Are you angry? Am I annoying you? An angry zombie. He is angry, like literally. Eh, eh. And now he is a dead zombie. 
Oh, there's some shards over there too. Okay, we really need to put a piece of gravel. Oh goodness, is there a... There is a hole this way. Okay, let's just... More iron! Yay! Oh! Okay, this is... This looks like a really good cave. To say this is like... Underneath our house. This is pretty good. I'm impressed with what we found. There we go. So that should take care of that. So... We've got some more air shards. Awesome. And we've got some iron. Cool, cool. So what we need is... We need fire shards. Or gold. Let's go up this way first. Let's not, because I can't go up any further. Um, okay, oh, more iron. Hello. How are you? Oh, the bat scared me, that. Oh, creeper, creeper. Oh, oh. Let's get this quick. Okay. I can hear another zombie. Oh, goodness, two of them. Hello. How are you? I see more iron there as well. Didn't think I brought any wood with me, though. Hello, creepers. Oh, goodness, there's more than one. Is that? Oh, there's a, there's a skeleton. And there's another zombie. Great. But that is fire shards. So it looks like... We are doing Thorncraft. Because that is what we have found. So let's quickly leave this area. Um, and we can run back up. Oh, he's infested. Oh, he looks terrifying. Run. <gasps> he is so scary. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Run, run, run. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What did we find? Oh, and it's night outside. Great. Oh, goodness. He fell in there trying to get us. <gasps> and two creepers. Run, run. Uh, I hope there's nothing in the house. Nope, nope. The problem is the spider can probably climb the wall and get in. Quick, get in bed, get in bed, get in bed, get in bed. <laughs> oh, I don't like it. I think I heard the spider fall off. Go away. Oh, let's have some breakfast. Let's put our spider head. Uh, spider head, our zombie head there. There you go, sir. Oh! Hello! Sorry, you can't stay. I've got no room for visitors right now. So let's quickly just put these little bits and bobs away that we've got. Um, is that everything? Okay, so. There's the glass. We'll smelt up the iron, although we don't need it now. Well, we will, we will need it. We just don't need it for what we thought. So if we open our book, I'm assuming whatever we do first, we will get as the major. And whatever we do second, we'll get as the minor. So let's submit them. Yay! Cool. Okay. So we've done this one as our major. Um, oh, now I get to pick a minor. Okay. So we will do Britannia. I love the noise it makes when you do it. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, so these have unlocked quests somewhere else. So if we go back, there we go. So initiation, all, ma all quests completed. So now we have unlocked magic chores, hedge mage, house leximani initiate, and house... Ah, uh, Himarikon initiate? No idea. So let's do magic. Can we? There we go. Magic chores. Okay. So we've got clearing all those chests. So we need to, as an apprentice mage, I'm probably going to be getting a lot of different items as I advance in power. I should probably spend some time creating better storage. We get barrels! Yes, I was really hoping that we'd get some better storage sources. Housing something. Ooh. Oh, can we read them? No. Well, they're going on a shelf. 
So if we take some of this wood and we go like this and make a chest, and then if we surround the chest with wood, no, with logs. Oops, come back here, chest. I need you. Try it like this. Like this. No, what did it say? Uh, okay. Okay, right. Let's use our thing. Awesome. Oh, we need a slab on the top. Okay. And zoop. There we go. Awesome, a barrel. And we got a bag, a reward bag. So let's put this down. Um, let me just see. Yes, we do get dollies. That's fine. I was worried if I put it down, we won't be able to move it very easily. But we'll put that there for now. If any of you guys haven't seen these before, these are better barrels. Um, they hold um 64 stacks of 64 of one type of item so i could if i put say um like this cobble in here then if you look it says one out of 64 oops don't chuck it at it and it can you can only put like cobble in it. i couldn't put like the wood in it and stuff so that's pretty cool very very useful put these away and then in this okay and then let's see what we got in our reward bag initiate reward 50 chance 50 percent chance of getting this reward oh oh we got another iron sword oh this one's fast is that faster than ours probably not it looks fancy uh, it looks exactly the same but to me because it's a reward thing it looks extra fancy cool so we can oh yeah we can upgrade them so we need to make a structural mk1 okay whoops wrong button so mk1 there we go so we need some fences and we need some wood which we can certainly do um i think in this one fences are just sticks yeah and then fences in the corners i think I always do these the wrong way around. Oh my goodness, it's a miracle. I did it the right way. And then if we click on this, if we shift click on it, it then means it can hold more. So it can hold even more stuff now. No, 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 it doesn't. That's a lie. What that MK1 does is it gives it an upgrade slot. And then in that upgrade slot, you can put like, you know, you want it to be able to hold more and stuff. And should I have kept that or oh I need to do this one so I need to do the mk2 so let's go on to this one and we need to do this so we need iron oh it's a good job we got that iron look at that we were prepared which is which never happens I'm so impressed oh ooh. impressed but can't use a crafting table Yep, welcome to my channel. So let's chuck this in here and we get an MK2, which is structural MK2. It gives you, oh, it gives you three extra slots. Maybe I should put this on a different barrel. Maybe I should save it. Let's see. Um, okay. So what does it want me to do now? Oops, that one. By crafting pistons and barrels together, it can probably fit another barrel inside this barrel. Yeah, the storage upgrade. It wants me to do the storage upgrade. So for now, I'm going to hold on to this one because I think it gives you... Yeah, so the higher you go, the more slots it gives you, more upgrade slots. So if... Um, so what did we want... It was an up. There we go. An upgrade. Storage upgrade. So this one uses one slot, and then you've got these ones that use 81 or whatever. 
when it says um, a storage upgrade like the single one it means that it allows it to hold another 64 stacks of 64 so this one is storage upgrade times nine so it'll be able to hold nine 64 stacks of 64 if that makes sense like i don't know how big that number is but that's what it does so we actually need some redstone and we've got cobble and everything um so i don't think we're going to be able to do that oh we've got storage drawers i love these things i've never used them before so that's super exciting so and you can see them on the front craft an oak drawer using oak wood and two chests Okay, so let's make some chests. Those are so cool. Okay, okay, give me more wood back. So we're making drawers, and they look like they have upgrades as well. Storage. This looked like it was just normal ones, like an oak drawer. Or this one. This one, I think it wants us to make. Um, so we can do it with this, so this and this, and then like that. Whoa. Yeah. Fancy. Oh man, it wanted us to make compact ones. I should have known. So let's pop these in here. I think we need more wood. Um, let's get a load more wood. And make some more chests. And it wants us to make compact oak drawers. That's what we made, wasn't it? Maybe we should do it with slabs and see if that works better. See if this gives us the actual ones. There we go. That gives us the actual ones. Yeah. So we've done this one. Awesome. And it's not giving us, it's not opened up any others. Oh, here we go. Cramming it all in. So these are upgrade templates and then we need to, ooh, heavy metal storage and a dolly and all sorts of stuff. So that is what we are doing at the moment. Um, I'm going to leave this episode here for today. We are obviously only on, I'm going to put them down, look at them. <laughs> Let's put a bone in it. Look at that, it looks so cute. It's so cute. So that is um, where I'm going to leave this episode for today. Um, I know it's a bit more... It's not been very magic-y, has it? We've been doing storage, but the amount of stuff that we're going to get for all these different um, mods and things, we're going to need a lot of storage. So what I really like, if any of you guys are thinking of doing this, is that it really, like... Because of the way the, the quests and everything have been put together, it literally just walks you through everything, like even storage. Like the real basics, which I think is brilliant because I was kind of expecting to be thrown into the mods a bit. Um, maybe kind of go through them a little bit step by step. But, you know, definitely more kind of like thrown into it than we have been. I like that it's going like right back to basics, you know. You're going to need good storage. Here's how you do it. Here's how you upgrade it. Here's how you make it better and all that. Because that's really important. And, you know, if you're not either, you know, you've never played mods before or you've not done this kind of stuff this kind of storage um it's really helpful to you know have somebody to well have something to teach you about that without having to spend hours online researching it so that's really really cool so i hope you've all enjoyed this episode and um, hopefully they're going to become a bit more frequent it was only because i've had to do so much off camera that they haven't been but now that's kind of done the rest of this is just going to be done as we go um i hope you're happy with my choices of having um thomcraft as our major and Britannia as our minor we are going to go, I know I keep repeating myself, but we are going to still go through all of them. Um, those are just the ones we're going to get quests on. So I hope that's okay with everybody. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think of the castle and how it's looking and the area. I'm so excited to build it up a bit more and get all this fancy storage going. But I hope you all had a fabulous week. Um, I hope you're all having a great Christmas time or happy holidays or whatever it is you celebrate or if you celebrate nothing at all. I just hope you're having a great day and I will see you all soon. Bye guys!